Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just here to pop up our cards for this week. I'm doing these on Monday again. Um, just because again that energy was really weird at the weekend and I slept most of the time. Um, so I do this on Monday and it feels like the right sort of energy to be doing it in. So that's good. I'm going to have a little shuffle <clears throat> and put down our card from the Faulkner Tarot. Okay. So if you can hear a bit of background noise, they are um, streaming our hedges outside. So um, once they start that, it tends to be all day. So there's no point waiting for that to finish and then doing the video because I needed to get it up. So let's just see what we've got. Excuse the noise if you can hear it. Okay, so our tarot card from the Black and White Faulkner deck is the Knight of Cups. Now, I know a lot of people um, ask about the decks that I'm using, so I'll just quickly run through what they are. The um, Black and White deck that you see there is the Black and White Faulkner deck, which I believe is out of print now. You may be lucky and be able to pick up a copy of that on eBay or something if somebody's selling them, but other than that, um, they're not freely available, but that's what they are, black and white Faulkner deck. Um, the other deck that I'm using is the Textured Tarot, and the um, Oracle deck that I'm using is Brian's deck. So I'll show you those as we go along. First of all, we've got the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups talks about love and romance. Um, so that may, it may not necessarily be... Um, have to be a romantic energy but it is about love so you know in this current environment that we're in um you know that kind of self-love thing I think is really important you know showing that love to yourself it's like yesterday I just really needed to sleep so I just let myself sleep and I didn't beat myself up over it there's a lot of um energy in me that kind of goes oh don't sleep all day that's really naughty you know that's lazy um, but sometimes you just got to be gentle with yourself. And if you need to sleep, then sleep. Sleep's a great thing. It really kind of helps you out in terms of your um, spiritual healing and stuff like that. That rest is really important. So, you know, love yourself. But also, um, it this talks about a giving and receiving of love. So, you know, be be in an energy where you are happy to receive love some of us push it away because we're you know we want to protect ourselves and all sorts of reasons why you might push love away so you know don't do that this week allow love to come to you and give love freely now that can just be you know act of kindness whatever there's lots of act of kindness going on at the moment in the world um which is lovely and I really really hope that that's something that continues after all of this um the stuff is behind us I hope those acts of kindness and, th and things help you know and carry on you know pe things like helping people that are vulnerable and you know if you've got elderly um neighbors that you're checking up on and doing a little bit of shopping for I really hope that continues because I think that is something good to come out of something terrible um if it does so let me have a little look and see what we've got with the Textured Tarot. So this is the Textured Tarot. Um, it's an independent deck. It's it's this one. Um, and it is by uh, Liz McLaughlin Art. This is a 2018 Um I got this on Etsy. I believe it's still on Etsy. I don't know if there's any available at the moment, but um, I'll put the link below and, and link it to it if it's still available. I also think it was available on Little Red Tarot. So the Little Red Tarot shop. So you may be able to get it there. So let me just have a shuffle of these. I'm really enjoying these, actually. These um, textured tarot. Very pretty cards. So that's that. What have we got in the Textured Tarot? There we go, Knight of Pentacles. So we've got two knights. And the knights get things moving. Now you've got different speeds going on with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups 
tends to come, goes with the flow, kind of flows in. It's moving quite smoothly, I would say. Knight of Pentacles, much more of a ploddy energy. It's slower. Um, but also what the Knight of Pentacles, as you can see, the Knight of Pentacles is is there and he's doing his plough or she's doing her plough. Um, so you've got this slow moving energy. You're taking your time to um, make progress with the things that you want to make progress with. It also talks about getting grounded. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people um, appreciating nature more. You know, they're off on their daily walks and they're really appreciating nature around them. So, you know, because we, our other areas of if, um, enjoyment have been curtailed for a while, people are, are finding that they can get back into nature and, and really appreciate just things like a simple walk. I've um, seen loads and loads of pictures of bluebell woods this weekend. Really beautiful. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles is talking to you about that. It's talking to you about being grounded so being in touch with nature is a great way of grounding and slowly moving forward slowly making progress towards your goals <clears throat> there's a massive yellow rose in this in this image as well and that to me talks about solar plexus energy and um being creative um I think the yellows and the oranges tend to, for me, they tend to talk about creation. I've got a red rose down here as well, which is talking about, you know, your love and, and um, your root chakra as well. And he's got red boots on, so we're getting grounded. Um, so loads going on in that card that talks about being pulled down into the earth and also being creative. You know, <clears throat> they're ploughing the seeds, aren't they? They're, pl they're ploughing so they can plant the seeds, so they can plant the seeds for the future. Just one second, sorry. <clears throat> I just need my little tea sip then. Okay, so this is your Knight of Pentacles energy. It's a good card for business. It's a good card for work. It's a good for, card for getting grounded. Moving slowly forward is your Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, Knight of Cups, much more go with the flow. Pay attention to your emotions um, and all that kind of energy. So really, really good positive cards. The Knights, I love the Knights. The Knights are my favourite cards. Um other than things like the star which is just a fabulous card but i do love the knights um so yeah a good strong positive energy this week to move slowly forward and to kind of be gentle with ourselves and love ourselves so i'm just going to have a little shuffle and <clears throat> see what brian's got to say this week this is brian's deck this is by rhiannon faulkner um the same person that produced the um black and white faulkner deck that i'm using um so this is brian's deck which is like an oracle deck um i'll put a link up to her website underneath here and um so that you can have a look at them if you want to there we go so Brian is saying, start planning now. Get things in order now. It's time for a change. Be prepared. Being prepared is the best defense you have. So, you know, this is talking about moving forward and being able to plan and make a strategy. So, you know, a lot of us are still indoors. We're still in lockdown here in London and we'll be for at least another two weeks, I think now, um, maybe three. Um so it's a good time for us to um, make plans, be strategic about what we might want to do with our work, with our lives in general. You know, there's a lot of people um, thinking about travel. How am I going to travel? We can't travel at the moment and we're not sure how that's going to pan out for us. But there's nothing stopping us planning what our next trip might be. And, you know, looking at the areas that we'd like to visit, seeing, you know, we've got the internet, we can have a good mosey round um, and see what there is to do in those areas. If there's somewhere you really fancy going, where would you stay? You know, you can have, there's nothing stopping you having a look and making plans for what you can do once we do, we are able to, um, once we are able to move about a bit more freely. So, yeah, start planning now. Um really really good time to get stuff 
done in all, you know get your things in order um you know just i don't know just get stuff organized i suppose it's a good time to have a bit of a clear out get yourself organized so that when we can all start to do things more you can do it from a bit of a clean slate i think is what my guide is saying is the clean slate thing is important so i will leave that with you for today hopefully that makes a little bit of sense if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you um, like this kind of thing and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. That would be lovely. And I'll speak to you very soon.